This lesson guides you through creating a windmill from sub-objects. Um, standard primitives, we go to the si a cylinder. Okay, um, let's see, not tall enough. So the height should be taller. Um, maybe we're gonna create it as a polygon uh, of five sides okay um, no maybe what about maybe a six-sided uh, windmill now the first step after creating the cylinder is to name it okay because by naming it your games engine or director could then identify that as a, as an object called the windmill so we can apply the edit poly press E to go to the edit okay then we're gonna basically create um, a few things now okay we're gonna create the roof first level okay that's the first step then click on it click on it again second step Third step, fourth step, will be that. Okay, um, I'm going to select this edge, but you know, the one way of selecting the edges is to actually press Control and click the rest. But you can also use the loop, okay, to select the whole thing. That's a loop function uh, key, um, button. Once you've selected that, you can then move that a little bit down, okay, and scale it. Okay, so a little bit too big. So that's the that should be the roof. Uh, maybe a little bit higher. Okay. Now, now we can edit this part. Select the edges, or rather, just that edge. Scale it and select the bottom part and do a bevel. Okay, so that's the basic shape of the uh, windmill. Move them a little bit lower so that it touches the ground. And let's create um, doors and windows. Okay, but prior to that, maybe let's uh, let's create something to contain the windmill uh, for the the fan. Okay, bevel. scale that to make it a sort of a square right use an extrude so that it doesn't scale after that ok 
Okay, maybe we we'll just leave it leave it right there. Okay. Now, how about a door? Okay, we can create a door right here. So that let's let's have a look. Okay, yeah, that's the front. So let's let's create the shape of the door. Um, we go back to the create panel, the shape, create a rectangle, and we're gonna make the door about you know that sort of that high with an arc. Now we can do a snap by pressing this for a longer time and choose the 2D version. Right mouse click on this icon and select vertex. Okay, the default should be grid points, but let's select the vertex so that it con it, it clicks to the vertex. So let's create an arc to join that two things together. Sorry. Okay. And switch that off. The next step would be to go to edit spline so this is a shape so we can edit the spline and then we can select attach to join these two together look at the icon okay so this not this not joined together I'm gonna select the segment so use that move to segment delete that press the delete delete key on your keyboard select these two vertices there are four vertices here and what we're gonna do is to weld them together so that this becomes one object okay that's your shape the next step is to move this shape out to the front okay and extrude it okay now we're gonna copy shift control and move that copy one the other one and make name it the door the door should be not as thick as one for the boolean operation so then we move this in there and make sure it's at the cent at the center okay and we'll do we'll do a, a boolean operation later so we'll, we'll just leave it there first Maybe we can also create some windows over here. Okay. Again, bevel. Move it slightly upwards. Okay, so our window looks quite nice right there, yeah? To a local view. Okay, we go back to bevel. And that, that's good enough. Okay. Now, the other way now, um, what we can do now is to, to create, okay, um, I think one window should be enough for now. Let's delete that. So with that polygon selected, press delete. And, okay, so we have a window opening. 